in the last class uh, we have uh, introduced about uh, fuzzy set okay so although in is uh, giving some examples okay so now you know um, about the distinction between the your crisp set and fuzzy set so we did for fuzzy uh, crisp set there we have the membership function or the characteristics function for this case we wrote this as suppose i write mu for this membership function and a is the set crisp set mu a is a function from x to 0 1 set that means it can have the value either 0 or 1 that was your crisp set for crisp set okay for fuzzy we have the membership function so i told that we will denote this fuzzy set as a bar when it is bar then it is fuzzy mu a bar so this will be a function from x to closed interval 0 1 that means it has the, this membership function value will have infinite number of points between 0 and 1 and including 0 and 1 also so when it is not included exactly not included then it is 0 if it is wholly included it is 1 and in between that we have infinite number of points depending upon your problem okay now this is your membership function now what about fuzzy set fuzzy set is defined as actually this is a ordered pair x and mu a bar x okay for such that x belongs to your universal set x we are understanding that means in fuzzy set you have two components one is your x element and its membership function okay so these are the ordered pair x and mu a bar x so in this way we defined a fuzzy set understood now let us take some examples so i am erasing this okay so if we have suppose the universal set x i take as 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means set of positive natural numbers okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 dot dot now if i define a fuzzy set a bar as 2 or so means number 2 2 or so okay so what you can tell me about membership function of 1 membership function of 1 if your universal set is this i am defining this fuzzy set as 2 or so okay 2 or so so then it is your choice i can have mu a bar 1 as maybe 0 if you are taking 2 as exactly 2 but it is written 2 or so i can have i can write because it is fuzzy sense so mu a bar 1 as 0.5 okay mu a bar 2 it is exactly 2 so what should be the membership value 1 okay mu a bar 3 again you can take 0 but it is fuzzy sense i can take it as 0 0.5 okay like that i have mu a bar 4 as should be 0 okay then others also mu a bar 5 6 all will be 0 so these are the membership grade or degree or whatever you can say membership value or degree are like this okay now the fuzzy set a bar i can write like this see i told that fuzzy set will have two components one is the element and its membership value membership degree so i can have for one i will have one zero okay 1 and mu a bar 1 mu a bar 1 is sorry if i take 0 then it will be 0 so this is your 0 0.5 similarly 2 1 3 0.5 4 0 like that 5 0 
So, this is the fuzzy set that you will get for this 2 or so, 2 or 2 approximately 2, suppose approximately 2, 2 or so means you are not defining this fuzzy set as exactly 2, if it is exactly 2 it is crisp, means it is near to 2. Okay, see, see if I define suppose 0, 1, 2 means if I suppose 2 if it is crisp so you have 2 value means single value here if it is 2 or so means you can have like this again it depends upon your choice you can have this width like this also that is why I have taken 1 as 0.5 you can have this this 2 as like this that yesterday we defined. So, this is 2 for 1 and others are 0. Okay? This is an example that we are taking for this set as A is equal to 2 or so. Okay? So, you will be more clear when I take more examples. Okay? So, this, this is the way that we write the fuzzy set depending upon your membership functions. Okay? Now, there are in many books, they have also written in another way like this also. First, they write the membership function and below this denominator, they write the element and they use plus. Then 1 by 2 plus 0.5 by 3 plus 0 by 4 plus like this. But remember, these are not division, just representation and these are not addition, these are union actually. Okay? This is not your usual addition, these are union and this is not your division. Okay? Not your division, only it is the representation that the numerator is membership value and this is your, these are your elements. Okay? So, in symbolic form that means a bar I have x mu a bar x form okay? or I can write this in symbolic form as summation mu a bar x i by x i, but remember it is not actually by, the numerator is your membership and this is your element. Okay? So, this is actually in discrete case. Similarly, if it is continuous, I can write this in terms of integral, but remember it is not integral actually, this is a symbol that it is continuous system. Okay? So, integral mu a bar x and numerator x. These are all representation of the fuzzy sets. This is for standard, usually uh, this we follow, sometimes this also we follow or this is for discrete, this is for continuous. Okay? Now, coming to another example. <laughs> Suppose, I have the universal set, okay. if I say the fuzzy set as John, a person is young, young, John is young and we had discussed yesterday, young means, I do not know, young means I can say 70 years person is also young, it depends upon his Okay, means how he feels. I may be old, but I may feel I am young. Okay, so that's why this young depends upon you that you define. Okay, so suppose this young, I define if it belongs to zero to eighty years. This is my choice. Okay, zero to eighty. Okay, now let us see what what is happening. If it is zero to eighty. So, now, if I plot this side x, this is your mu a bar x membership. Okay? So, membership values will be from 0 to 1, okay? 0 to 1. So, now, if it is 0, so we have up to 80. So, suppose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 
okay. See the range from 0 to 80 I am considering as young. So, what you say about suppose I take 30 years old because you are taking 0 to 80 as young. Okay. So, 30 should be what? In that case 30 should be very very young means in that range very very young. So, 30 should be near to 0 0.9 should be near to 0.9 for this range 0 to 80. So, suppose it is 0 0.9. So, it will be near to 1 0.9. So, 30. So, here okay. So, see if I so if I plot it 10 tell me 10 for 10 it will be maybe 0 0.99 is very 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 young understanding suppose I take 1 it is very near very very young actually infant ok. So, 10 for ok 10 10 it will be 0 0.999 0 0.99 in between this suppose I take 70 70 for this case 70 may be near to here 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.11 like that ok. So, now if I plot it as a continuous function, so see the plot will be actually more or less like this, it will be go here then it will be like this say roughly ok you are understanding. So, this you have taken 0 to 80 range as the young as per your choice. Now, if we change this, now I change this as a 1 bar 1 fuzzy set. So, this is the plot for a 1 bar ok a 1 bar. Now, if I take another fuzzy set a 2 bar as very very young ok and we say that this very young belongs to the range 0 to 50. Okay, very young I take as 0 to 50. Now, tell me for 30 now what should be means roughly what should be approximately uh, the membership function for this very young. Yes, it should be 0.5 now half around half I can say 0.6 also 0.5 but 0.5 is ok good estimate. So, I can have then 0.5 here 0.5. So, this is the case we are understanding the change of this membership functions as per the this range and all ok. So, now this plot will be like this and then it will go to just like this ok. So, this, so this is your a 2 fuzzy number ok. So, now you see I have mu a 1 bar at suppose 30 this is your 0 0.9 and if I say mu a, a 2 bar 30 it is your 0 0.5 ok. So, that means you are you are uh, seeing the fuzziness ok how it differs depending upon your choice of this choice of how you define the fuzzy number uh, sorry fuzzy uh, set ok. So, in this way you can generate your own ok that is why we have many flexibility in this modeling ok <coughs> depending upon your problems ok. Let us come to the third example ok can I raise. So, now come to an another example now I define a fuzzy set a bar real number close to real number close to 0 that is my fuzzy set ok. Now, see what is happening. So, here we should have some membership function to define that ok. Suppose I define this mu a bar x as 1 by 1 plus x square ok. Hmm? That means, at x is equal to 0 I have the membership function as 1 this value ok. At x equal to 1 I have the membership value as 1 pardon. Huh, so, x equal to 0 sorry x equal to 0. Now, see the plot. So, at 0 ok it is close to 0. 
So, I have the membership function from 0 to 1. Okay. Now, I plot this for different real number or suppose I take this side 1, 2, 3, this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay. So, for 1, I have mu a bar 1 will be what? Mu a bar 1 will be 0.5. Okay. 0 0.5. Okay. So, similarly, mu a bar 2 will be what? 0 0.2. Okay. So, in this way, you can find all those membership functions by this formula. Okay. So, now, if you see for 1, I have 0 0.5. I have 0 0.5. Okay. So, for 1, I have 0 0.5. But at 0, it is 1. At 2, it is 0 0.25 same minus 2, same minus 1 because square is there. Okay? So, our plot will be how, how, how like this. Understanding? So, this is the fuzzy set when you have real number close to 0. Okay? Understood? If you see 2, it is near 2.25, 3 accordingly, go to plus infinity and minus infinity, you have the plot like this. Okay. So, now in the next example, if I change this example to real number very close to 0. See, we have the game of very close, very, very close, okay, very hot, okay, like that. So, real number close to very close to 0. Now, next example, 4, na? real number very close to 0. Now, the if it is very close to 0, so then we have to define now the membership function accordingly. In this case, very close to 0, that means we can define this as mu a bar x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square whole square. Now, you see what you are getting. So, in this case, mu a bar 1 will be what? 0.25. You see the change? See the change? Very close to 0. Earlier it was close to 0. We had mu a bar 1 as 0.5, if you remember. Mu a bar 1 as 0.5. Now it becomes mu a bar 1 as 0.25. Let us draw this. So, it is 0 to 1. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay? So, now at 1, it is 0.25. So, 0.25 mine may be here. So, it is 0.25. Okay? So, at 1, it is 0.25. So, now this will be what? It will come directly here. It will also come directly here and it will go like this. Understanding? The width is decreasing because it is very close to 0. Okay? So, you can write the fuzzy set like that also two component wise ordered pair as may be 0, what is the value 0, 0, 1 like that, 2 we can write like that also. So, this is the plot for this very uh, fuzzy set. Okay? Now, comes to another example actually that is very important to define some uh, uh, terms in fuzzy set. So, consider a universal set X, consider a universal set X which is defined on the edge domain. So, our universal set, so these are edge of different persons, okay, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Okay? So, we have the A's from 5 to 85. Okay? Now, we define 5 or 4 fuzzy sets. So, I define fuzzy sets. First one is infant. Second one as young. Third one adult. Fourth one 
seen here on this universal set understood these are four different fuzzy sets okay infant young adult senior i have this as the universal set i have these ages 5 to 85 okay now let us draw a table means make a table so here we are giving age here we are having infant okay then we have young adult senior okay so we have 5 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 these are the ages now take first this infant fuzzy set and place the membership values as per your choice okay so infant we say zero we say means it is not there okay so all the membership values are zero okay so here all are zero okay come to the next for the set young young so young it depends from where you start so where you want to start suppose i start from 15 okay so then 5 should be zero so if i start from young so so maybe then 15 i can put at 0.2 okay so youngest will be where 35 maybe 35 we may consider as the young men okay so i can have this 35 as 1 or not so let us put this as 1 first now 25 i can have 0.8 because 25 is very also young okay you can put 0.9 also no problem so it is 0.8 so if 35 1 45 also you think this young but less than this 35 so if they both run so 35 will win Or not? So maybe 0.6 years. Okay, we'll put 0.6, 55. So I am not so old. Or not? So I can put how much? I can run with any one, no problem. So it is 55 years. I should put what? 0.5. Okay, let us put 0.5. And 65. Okay, after retirement. So it should be 0.1 or 0.2. Otherwise, all these knees will go. Okay. So it will be maybe 0.1 or 0.2. Let us put 0. one but 75 85 those should be zero or not those should be zero so you are understanding how you are giving the membership values to the fuzzy set this young come to the adult see you have adult movies so after what is at least 18 so adult this means 5 and 15 should be zero or not so 5 15 0 Again, twenty-five. Yes, you can take it. That is adult. So I can have point eight, okay, or point nine. Point nine also I can take. Twenty-five is adult enough. No, let us take point eight. Thirty-five is one or point nine. Point nine. So I can take. Then this is one forty-five. Okay, then fifty-five, sixty-five. All are what? Zero or one? One, up to all this should be one. Not all adults, na. Eighty-five also can see adult movies or not? Ah uh, yes. So, should be one all. One, 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 one. So change. See the change. No, no. See, I am coming to the senior category now. This may fall. How we define adult? No, no. It depends upon your choice. No, no. Adult will be suppose I can take sometime fifteen, sixteen also adult. Earlier sixteen was adult, so from sixteen I can start. But adult is up to here. So that's why I told in the first class that fuzzy sets you you don't have the exact boundary. Overlapping is there. This is the overlapping. This fuzzy set and this fuzzy set some points will be overlapped. Here also maybe somewhere it is overlapped. okay so those things we have to handle accordingly okay we have different methods to handle those okay that's why it is interesting because see in nature or in any differential equation it is not exactly actually na no? 
Okay, so if we can model that, suppose one problem, suppose A is fuzzy set, suppose in terms of mathematics, if A we can have fuzzy matrix. So till date, this is an open question to find A inverse. Till now, it is not uh, means uh, no method is there to find the inverse of a fuzzy or interval matrix. Okay, so there are many challenges there. So anyway, so come to senior. So senior, as you know, trend reservations starts from 60. Okay, 60. So here 50. We have taken. We can include 60 also. So let us take 55 or 55 is maybe senior. So I can give there at 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Okay, so let us give 0 0.5, uh, 55 as 0 0.3. But before that, is the, these are all zero. zero or not? They will not get concession in trend or not? So these are all zero. So now this is 0 0.3. So 65 is what? 0 0.9, 0 0.9 or 0.99 or whatever. So I can take 0.9 and then 1 1. Understood? So, how to make these fuzzy sets? Okay? Now, it is clear about how we will give membership and this is not means you can change this 0 0.2 to maybe 0 0.25, 0 0.3. You can say sir, then answer will be different if I go to the other solutions etc. other problems, answer will be maybe different, but it will be in the range. Okay? Because suppose in practical application also, suppose I want to design something. So, design means what? means factor of safety. Okay, so, factor of safety again should not be a single digit because for design if you have some force and how it fails etc. I do not know about the force. So, how it fails also I do not know and when it will fail that also do not know then I should give some range you know, from this to this. See the application. I should not have a single digit that if this is crossed then it, it will fail may be that before that it will fail or after that it will fail. So, it is better to give some range. Okay? So, that is why very interesting and very means powerful uh, this method are. Okay? So, now from here I will define some terms actually. Okay? <clears throat> so, from here I define first support of a G set. And we define this support by S bar. Bar I am using for showing the fuzziness. Okay, support of a fuzzy set A bar is defined as X such that mu A bar X greater than zero. Okay, you are understanding. Support of a fuzzy set defined as those elements for which membership function value is greater than 0. Okay? That means, support should be a fuzzy set or crisp set? Crisp set. That means, support of a fuzzy set will be a crisp because these are all x values or not. So, this is a crisp set. Okay? Now, let us see what is happening here. Support of Young because young is a fuzzy set, support of young or what it is telling all greater than 0. So, support of young starts from 0 0.2 up to 0 0.1. So, 0 0.2 is 15 to what is for this 65, I think. No, hmm? so it is 15 to 65, 15, 25 up to 65. This is the support of young fuzzy set. Understood? Similarly, if I find support of adult greater than 0, so adult will start from 0 0.8 up to here 85. So, see it is 25, 25 to 85. See, this set is a crisp set. Okay? So, support of a fuzzy set is a crisp set. Okay? Similarly, I can have support of senior and this is starting from here. So, it is 65, no 55, okay, this, okay. 55 
to 85. Okay. What about support of infant? It is empty because I do not have any values greater than 0. Okay. The support of infant is empty set. Okay. This you have understood support of a fuzzy set. Okay, now we are using this. Now I will define next term that is height. This is defined as the maximum value of the membership function. Maximum membership degree or whatever. Okay. Okay. So, what is the height of this fuzzy set? 1. Okay. This is also 1, this is also 1. Sometimes you may not have 1. Okay. You can may not give 1 to all the elements. It depends upon your application. Here it should be 1, but there are some applications problems that you may not have 1. So, height is the maximum value. Now, from here we define as normalized for the set. Normalized for the set. And as we know, what about normalized means? That means maximum value if you have 1, if you have 1 as maximum value, then that means if height is 1, then that fuzzy set will be called as normalized fuzzy set. Understood? So, in this case, all these 3 are normalized fuzzy set. So, height is 1. Understood? So, if I draw suppose for a continuous system, so suppose it is 0 and it is 1. So, if you have like this for the set, so this is your 1, so this is your height, this is non-normalized. This is non-normalized because you do not have the height, it is not reaching up to 1. So, this is non-normalized. Similarly, if I have 0 to 1 and if this is, if suppose I have like this, so it is normalized. Understood? Normalized and non normalized and height. So, now you have understood support, height, normalized fuzzy set. Now, come to alpha level set. Normalized set, what is the maximum value? One is not there, so it is not normalized. No, 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 we cannot do normalization always. We cannot do. How you can 0 by 0 it will come now? Okay. 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 Now come to alpha cut or alpha level sets. Alpha cut or alpha alpha cut or alpha level. So here we define again like this A bar alpha. A bar is the fuzzy set and alpha is this alpha. So, this is defined as x such that mu a bar x greater than equal to understood those elements for which this membership function is greater than or equal to alpha and alpha is arbitrary. Alpha is arbitrary, but in 0 1. Okay? So, if I want to find for this fuzzy set young, so again you see alpha cut set will be a crisp set, alpha cut will be a crisp set or alpha level will be a crisp set. Okay? So, now young 0.2, what will be that set? Young 0.2, it should be greater than or equal to 0.2. So, that means it should be from here to here. So, it is from 15 to 0 0.1, we give 65, no? 65, sure. So, 15 to 65. Okay. If I use 0.4, so it will be from 25 to 55. It is 0.1, no? 55, no? 25 to 55. Is it okay? So, similarly, we can define for other fuzzy sets with other alpha values. 
okay only thing you have to check greater than equal to alpha okay so this is your alpha cut so similarly we can we can have a strong alpha cut and you can imagine the definition will be then greater than alpha okay so let us write that strong so the, the definition will be a bar i will now define alpha strong alpha as alpha dash just notation to distinguish alpha as alpha cut and alpha dash as strong alpha cut okay so this will be defined as x such that mu a bar x greater than alpha dash okay understood so similarly you can find if it is greater than 0.2 so you will have from here 25 to 65 so if i have young 0.2 dash i can write is equal to 25 no 25 to 55 yes 25 to 55 okay okay clear so now suppose for alpha cut set if you have alpha 1 greater than alpha 2 suppose alpha 1 is the value of alpha and i want to find a bar alpha 1 and a bar alpha 2 corresponding alpha set alpha cut set okay so what should be the relation it should be means it should be a subset understood if your alpha 1 greater than alpha 2 then a bar alpha 1 subset of a bar alpha 2 okay so this we can very well see Uh, by a figure that what is happening you can see so if i have suppose this is a fuzzy set okay so if i have this is alpha 1 this is alpha 2 i told alpha 1 greater than alpha 2 okay this is your membership function okay so alpha 1 greater than alpha 2 so now alpha 1 what are the x this for a bar alpha 1 and for alpha 2 you see this is your a bar alpha 2 and you see a bar alpha 1 contained in a bar alpha 2 okay so okay i think in the next class uh, we will see the further definitions and other operations of fuzzy set